I'm a onboarding field and safety trainer. Awareness, administrative controls, and PPE. I like to actually grab the kit with my knee. Yep so it's not gonna move at all. I'm a scuba diving instructor, an open water instructor with uh, Patty. Work this guy up through here. I take people that have no experience at all with scuba diving and bring them up to a recreational certification level. Let's put out of the way. We'll be heading out here, uh, dropping down in probably about 20 feet of water, swimming down to 60 feet, playing around down there for a little while, and working our way back up. I have- Right arm first. Always love the water. Go, that left arm for you. I uh, was introduced to it essentially by my mom. She bought me a try it class for my birthday one year. And I you know, gave it a try, fell in love with the sport, and I've been diving ever since. That was about almost eight years ago now. When I first got in, I was just in awe. It was amazing. Greatest thing I've ever done. So I, I got in the water, took my first breath underwater, and I'm like, I'm, I'm in love. <laughs> yeah, you know, my wife dives too. Uh, I actually proposed to her underwater. We were diving down in San Carlos, Mexico, and uh, it was our last dive of the trip. And we got down to, we were about 40 feet down, and I made a little ring box out of some clam shells. And I started pointing at the bottom, trying to get her to, to look at something. I said, hey, you look down. She's looking down, and I'm like, do you see it? Do you see what's down there? I don't know what you're pointing at. And while she was looking down, I reached in my pocket, pulled out the ring box, and then I swam down like I was gonna pick up something. And I came back up and I showed her the, the clam shell. And she was, like, oh, that's cute. And I popped it open and she just started going, <laughs> it, was, it was a good time. We popped up to the surface and I said, so was this a yes? And she goes, yes, yes, oh my God, yes. So. <laughs> I have dove in Fiji. We did some shark feeding scuba dives in Fiji. That was pretty cool. I dove in the Channel Islands off of Santa Barbara, California. And then uh, dove the Florida Keys. Um, good diving down there. And in San Carlos. I was trying to take a photo on a night dive of a moray eel, this massive moray eel in Fiji. And uh, I was still learning how to use my camera equipment, the light setup that I had. And uh, I didn't know that my video light had a sensor on it. When I tripped my flash on my camera, the video light was gonna shut off. So I kind of tried to coax this eel out a little bit and I figured, you know, my hand's back by my camera so I'm safe. And I you know, got the eel to come out a little bit, um, took my shot, flash went off video light shuts off, I'm left in the dark for a couple of seconds, light comes back on and the eel is right next to my finger, like like this, and I'm like, oh no! <laughs> so kind of learned a valuable lesson that day. Meditation, to me, that's that's what I use it for, is meditation. I, I go underwater and I'm, I'm in my element. That's just the most calming to me. It's, this is my reset. You know, some people they say the reset's going out in the woods, getting away from everything. This this is my reset. I work to live, I live to dive. <laughs> 